All you need is $80, and in one spin, you can win $165. But here's the bonus. There's only four ways to lose. Is this a thing, sir? It's a thing. We <laughs> have another roulette system from Moneybag called Patreon member. Thank you so much. It is called Let's Get DGen. It is a $500 buy-in. Mm -hmm. I have $500 and $5 checks. Papa's got the salmons. Those represent the $5 as well. It's a pretty simple system. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bet 29, 26, 29 split, 17, 20 split, 8, 11 split. Then you're gonna bet double streets from four all the way down to 31, 28, 31. You're also gonna bet $15 on the middle column and 0, 0, 0, 0002. 0, 0002, basically that's like a little hedge. If you hit the double streets, those are partial wax. And then if you hit the sides, really what you're trying to hit is either the middle column or these six numbers. If you get a complete whack, which is one, two, three, or at one, three, 34, 36, you martingale. Only four. There's only four whacks. complete whacks. Yeah. And let them know that you did really well on our other, uh, our other service, dude, or other I, video service. I want a shit ton of baked potatoes on you Patreon. Wanna, oh, wow, look at you, buddy. Mm -hmm. And when we mean baked potatoes, we're not talking the Denny's baked potatoes. We're talking yeah. Fontainebleau poppy steak baked potatoes. Yes. Uh, the good shit, dude. The good, the absolute, That's the it. primo baked potato. Is there is there a more expensive baked potato? Have we encountered a more expensive? Is there such thing as a more expensive baked potato? No. What could you do to a baked potato to make it more expensive? I'm just curious. Last question, and I'll, I promise I'll be done with the baked potato. I promise. Lobster, maybe. Oh, you can, oh okay. But even lobster is not expensive with caviar. This, uh, anyways. So we lost 20 bucks here. So this yeah. is 50 plus your bet 60. We're in an 80 dollar average bet. That's a 20 dollar loss. 20 dollar loss. Real easy. I can has math. You can, uh, so basically you can, with 500 bucks, you can sit here and lose $20. That's it. To buy a lobster roll, 15 bucks. I, I take someone to go over to the, uh, eat, you know, what, what's it called? Uh, the, what, there's one of the lobster roll place. Well, there's it's lobster in, me in, and there's It's Luke's in the Miracle, lobster. the Miracle That's Mile. That's lobster me. Yeah, and, and it's like almost $30, I think now. Yeah. I mean, they just keep yanking it up there. Well, Luke's lobster is higher quality, I think, than. Luke's is, the one outside yeah. fashion mm -hmm. show? Is that, oh, really? Wow, that's good to know, I didn't know that. See, Alex knows, Alex knows these things. Alex, Alex participates on a whole different level when it comes to food. I enjoy Luke's lobster. Really? Mm -hmm. You enjoy it? And, and lobster meat, and didn't think that wasn't as excited no. because it was voted think, one of the best. It started think, as a truck, no? I think Luke's lobster is better. Luke's lobsters. I'll have yeah. to. I'll have to revel in that. I'll have to compare and compare. So to be honest with you, actually, what I normally do is on my birthday. That's mm -hmm. what I get myself. Usually around the week of my you birthday. You treat yourself to. And I what get is a it that big you? Big ass bowl of lobster bisque, and I get the. Oh, oh, really? So it's all about the lobster. Yeah, they have like a trio of three different ones, or you can yeah. get one big ass one. I just get one big ass. You know ass what I one. love about it? I will, I will say that I love about that place is when you go in there, they have this little like secret covered seating area. They do. So you feel like you're a little disconnected from the world for a second. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's nice. You know what I mean? I think that that's kind of cool, especially if it's busy and the promenade there is busy, a lot of pedestrians. Yeah, you if you want to get there. out of the crowd a little bit, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice. So mm -hmm. I think it's funny because you don't, you don't realize that it's, it's there until you're there yeah you know what i'm saying once you walk inside and then... yeah once you walk in then you know it's there yep but if you're not there you don't know it's there yep. you know what i'm saying it's one of those things absolutely it's like when that baked potato smacks you in the face and you're thinking the baked potato gives you a mushroom stamp oh can you imagine mm. a mushroom stamp i just keep grinding stamp. out 20 dollar losses that's, that's the next one dude is the mushroom stamp imagine that that's going to be our next barometer of gambling uh, that, our next unit of measurement yeah. how big a mushroom stamp you can give someone five mushroom stamps now wow boop, 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 boop. the mushrooms aren't cheap now the only one that you know it's funny you know you know uh, uh, alex dennis loves the capitol grill because they when they you buy a steak there's one of the steak dishes, I'm not sure it's all of them, but they, they put it on a bed of mushrooms. A bed of mushrooms, which are fantastic. They give you a vegetable? They give you a free vegetable. Can you oh? imagine the value of a free vegetable? Who at Steakhouse gives you a free Normally you order the steak and it's just sitting there lonely on the plate nowadays. In this economy? I always, the fir very first time I ate at a, a, a fancy steak restaurant, because I really don't frequent them a lot, but, yeah. but when I finally did get around to it, yeah. I was so amazed that it's like, you order the steak and it's like, they bring you a plate with just the flipping steak on it. Yep. Because God forbid you didn't know to get the sauce or whatever, you know what I mean? They, yep. You have to tell them, listen, I want. Yep. And then, and then, and then if you're like, you ask like, hey, you got any ketchup? And they're like, ah. they look at you like, ah. You're like, I'd like my steak medium well with some ketchup, please. Yeah. Like, Easy. Perfect. Okay. Wow. That one's a $20 loss as well. Another so $20 that one, loss. This one we can sweep so everybody can see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I always feel bad because then I don't, know, I don't even know what sauce is. We got the blue cheese uh, rub mm -hmm. on the last one, and we didn't we didn't like it too much. Where'd you eat at? Uh, I, I think it was Hank's. Yeah. I mean, the steak was fantastic, but uh -huh. the like the it was not the right choice for us. Uh, it, blue it, cheese it was kind of weird on the steak for me. To be on honest, a, no, I know. We, we were well, listen. We learned it. We didn't know. We we ordered it. It sounded good at the time, and then we we're like. And by the way, if you like the blue cheese on steaks, boy, they they literally it's blue cheese, and no. it's so strong. Remember that? Usually, it's I get not like just strong. It's a lot of it. It's a lot of it. It's yeah, just usually layers I do like of a demi gloss or something like that. Whatever, whatever glossy demis you're talking about. I have no idea what the hell that means, but yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. It sounds about right. Or like au poivre. So whatever like that is. the last time I went to T-Bone, they had the butter. Oh, I didn't even ask for it. Free butter. Because you know what I'm saying? In this, this economy? In this economy, free butter. Another $20, dude. And it was so delicious. That's all I want. That For now on, I just want the butter topping. Is that the cheapest topping to get on a steak, dude? Sure. I mean, they normally steaks come with the type a type of compound butter, yeah. Oh, a compound butter, not just simple butter. Yeah. Compound butter. Usually it's something mixed in with That's the butter. That's a thing? Oh, there's yeah. something mixed in with the butter. Are you kidding me? I like how we have a strategy video and we talk about the strategy. Talk about food. Zero. It's just, it's just like butter. All right. What do you think about the strategy, buddy? Give me your, give me your thoughts. First dude. of all, we did this on Patreon, five extra video, we, and it's all of our links put down below in the link tree. Uh -huh. We did that, and like I was killing it. Now it's just twenty dollar grind. Yeah, of course. It's like every spin's a lap dance. Every Boop. spin's a lap dance, and then Boop. five spins later, you're out of baked potato. You yeah. don't even realize it. Dude. Yeah. Look. Yeah, it's not Lululemon jogger. It's baked potatoes. <laughs> By the way, Lululemon jogger is like one forty, dude. Mm -hmm. you, like literally, like that's they're not 100. They're like I went I went and looked at joggers the other day. They were like 140. Mm -hmm. They moved that store over and jacked up some prices, dude. I think is what happened. They're like, listen, it's convenience fee. They added a convenience wow. fee. We're right here by the Apple Store. If you want mm -hmm. joggers, you got to pay. I would love to see you in a pair of Lululemon joggers and go on a coffee dude, date. Can you imagine just my ass and some my just on a coffee date? Yeah, that's how you, you go wear that on a coffee date. What it's kind of casual, coffee are we but talking? Still, like dressed up nice, sir. What kind of coffee are we talking to? Hot coffee. Hot coffee? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter what they drink. Really? But yeah. It makes no difference. Ooh. Uh, that's even worse. So that wow. one, I lose uh, wow. 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yikes. Uh, that's like two lobster rolls, dude. Not, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like. It's we're we're talking lobster. Vegas terrace. We're talking Honestly, Vegas. it's a lobster roll and lobster bisque. You know what, what happened was like, but but you know you know the lobster started going down in price. Like you could buy lobster cheap. It's just that if you ate it at a restaurant, apparently, the hand agitated lobsters they weren't so cheap anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's what was irritating me because I, I I kept hearing about lobster prices going. You know, all these lobster fishermen losing their livelihood, but restaurants apparently not so much, dude. What do you mean there's a lobster they, loss? The Asian it? supermarket that they had a bunch of lobsters. For they sale. were cheap? Four bucks a pound, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Four but bucks you, a pound. you go out to like, and they're like market price. What well, kind of market are we talking about? Well, that's, why, go to my that's market. why I don't really go out to eat that much now. I try to you eat at home. You just eat at home. See, yeah. but some of us can't cook, dude. Me and you, me and you should go out. Without, with Dennis, the, the three of us, just and literally find all the nonsense, dude. Literally, just all walk. the nonsense oh on the gosh. Las Vegas trip. You should be, we should be like a food guide. You know what mm -hmm. you should do is you go out with me, mm -hmm. and you teach me about food. You know what I mean? Like that, we're that always, would be my pleasure, we're sir. always befuddled like about the sauce and what to say and how you know because then they're like, and then when we get the steak, a lot of times me and me and Dennis, this is like the truth. We're like we look at it and we're like, so we went to Bizarre Meat. Mm -hmm. We did not like it. You guys the presentation all these was fine dining stuff. The presentation was fantastic, but the food itself was like meh. If we actually like ate, if we actually had time, I could actually like cook us dinner one night. I know. He's, yeah, that's that's a good. See, that's why you know food because you can actually cook. Yikes! I, I, I can just go to this. Say, that's I, a bit of a. I can literally. You're just getting your ass beat. Dude, I can literally just go to the. We could go to Costco or where yeah. meat butcher block or wherever yeah. buy you, some nice you steaks. You have that. You have that bathtub uh, yeah. boiler. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where they make the meat in the mm -hmm. bathtub. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah, we could do that, and I could do a bunch of stuff. Yikes! Here, yeah. we'll do that. Actually, we'll do that one night. By we'll, the way, when I first saw that, I was like, huh? We're gonna do that sometime this month. We're gonna. I'm gonna come over. We're gonna make it. I'll I make went to a house this. in North Hollywood and they had all this meat in the bathtub, with this thing in there. You know what I mean? And they're like, yeah, I cook with this thing. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, that's a whack. I don't even have enough money to Martingale. You don't even have enough to Martingale? No. You're just getting crushed, dude. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Patreon, you won at least five baked potatoes, dude, with tip. Yeah. I mean, that was fantastic. Good job, buddy. Thank you, sir. So you're supposed to Martingale? You need me you're to be- You're supposed to Martingale. I don't even have enough money. I can loan you some money. <laughs> Why don't can you, you just give me get... 200 bucks? There you go. 
two sous vides, by the way. So I, we can sous vide. That's what it is, sous vide. Is that, that's the bathtub cooker? Yeah, but I can also make dessert with that, too. By the oh, way. well, yeah. I want to make dessert in my bathtub all day long, dude. That's, that's my next You grade. can do mason jar cheesecake. Oh, mason jar cheesecake. Yeah, you can put it in the mason jar and then sous vide it. And, then and you put it in your bathtub? Mm -hmm. Does everything end up in the bathtub? Yes. Do you use the bathtub, by the way, at, for, as a bathtub anymore? Yes, why not? If you're cooking in it all the time? Yes. So you have all your meat is getting worked over in the bathtub, dude. Yes. You know, wow, good for you, dude. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. See, this is things I don't know. I really do. I want, I, I, I don't know why I haven't, uh, where, we've been to a steakhouse together. Why have we not, why have you not educated me? Is that a win for you? $40. You $40. Oh, way to lose $40 in a, <laughs> in a minute, dude. How to Martingale and lose forty dollars, folks. Here it is. You've learned it seems there. You know what the funny part is you say that, but a lot of restaurants they'll cook their proteins in the sous vide. Uh, no, I'm sure they got and bathtubs, then, like so a multiple way, bathtubs. You, so you like yeah, so they'll have stuff or like for example like duck or something. Okay. They have stuff ready to go. But they use like a tub. Yeah, the bag is it's like in a plastic non EPA like environment. You know, yeah, like, but it's like a big tub that they use. Correct. They don't have like a you know, can you no. imagine people back there like, you no, know, cleaning not, themselves in between It's not an actual in bathtub. between meals. Yeah. And so what happens a lot of restaurants, what they'll do is like No, I believe it. You know, like certain things like that's ready to go. Yeah. It's it's sitting in the bathtub. Like, no, no, I, I, I know I read this review one time of this restaurant. One of those <coughs> uh, one of those where they do like the technical they, mm -hmm. they just use, they do everything perfectly. They use all air fryers and these, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So they compress the butt. Everything is perfectly, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? They measure out every single ingredient ex yeah. very exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's a name for them. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because you see them back there and no one's really cooking anything. They're all just yeah. air fryers lined up. You know what I mean? Dude. All this stuff. Wow, you're just getting crushed, dude. So Martingale is like, really? That's a Martingale system? You're just in forty dollars now. And nothing's going on. I'm that being, makes I'm no just sense. Dude. Right now. That makes no sense. What do they what do they call that? What do they call those restaurants? Where everything is measured, measured right down to the milligram. Oh. And it's put together and cooked at the perfect temperature. It's a very like, scientific. Yeah, it's less about bucks. cooking and more <laughs> more scientific. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the outcome is is the same every time, no matter what the meal is. You follow? Yeah, that makes sense. But and there's a few of them out here. They're very expensive. And oh, I know what you're talking about. It's a contraption where it does all the work for you. Yeah, but and they line them up. Yeah, yeah. And they just push the button and go. And yeah, a lot yeah, of them use that for the sauces now too. A lot of these restaurants, there's like yeah, because it eliminates the guesswork. You know what I mean? You're guaranteed the 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 results. You can always just watch Internet Shaquille on YouTube. I just want to know like I want to figure out how to get my air fryer to do do that. Okay, I give up. So I can just press a button. You give up? You're out? I give up, yeah. So now you're in $40? You don't have enough? I am in uh, uh, 700 I am out $120. Wow. 705 705 that's right. I get 5 bucks. There, here, oh, no, let's do this. There I'm in go. 700 I'm out 115 Wow. Brutal. Uh, I was in 500 60 bucks. Yeah. 440 If you guys are new to our channel, we do have a grading scale. Durian is the worst, then eggplant, then plum then peach, then grapefruit. Give us your thoughts, sir, and let's give it a rating. Right, there's nowhere to go with this, dude. E e even the Martingale's a loser. It's just you lose more. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what do you, what do, you do with that? You yeah. know what I mean? Here, let me Martingale so I can double my losses per roll. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. You would never play this. I would never play this. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing to see here, basically. Okay. Well, let's give it a rating on three. One, two, three. Eggplant. Eggplant. Wow, we're on the point <laughs> We're today. just together, buddy. God, big potato brought us together. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, without the marangale, if you take out the marangale part, I actually give it a plum. With the marangale, it's an eggplant. Oh, really? You give yep. it a plum? Oh, look yeah. at you, buddy. Like Just it's giving a, away stuff. Like we did play earlier and it wasn't bad. That's but free it is, butter. But to be honest with you, it is tough though, because unless you're hitting this middle column and just, you saw the whole time, we just kept hitting the sides. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. It kept grinding us down. Well, thank you guys so much. Let us know in the comments down below. More videos in the corner. See you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye. And then uh, off to Kino to uh, unwind. Well the, well, the truth is, 